Today we're going to learn about calculating ratios of volumes. Let's say we have a problem like this. Given that the figure below is a right cylinder within a prism, calculate the ratio of volumes between the two solids. So as we can see we have a prism and a right cylinder. And like these aren't drawn to scale. So let's just go with this. So first let's label what we know. So we don't really know what the side length is, but we can set it to be a variable. Let's say that the side length is y. Now, with a prism, we know that because this is y, or it shouldn't have been a prism, it should have been a cube, the, the question should have said cube. So, because this side is y, we know with a cube, this side would also be y, this side would be y, this side would be y, and this side here would be y. But that's going to get a little messed up if we put a y over there. But are there any other places where there is y? Well, we know that because this is y, we know that the height of the cylinder is also y. So let's write that down. Let's say this is the center of the cylinder. Now, we know that the edges of the cylinder are touching the edges of the cube. So here they connect, and here they connect. So that means that the diameter will have to be equal to y, meaning that the radius will be equal to y over 2. Whoops, that was wrong. Let's just say this. This is equal to y over 2. So now let's find the volume of the cube and the volume of the cylinder. The volume of the cube is pretty easy. It's just the height times width times length, or the length squared, cubed, which in this case is y cubed. The area of the cylinder is pi r squared h. So we have pi times r, which is y over 2, squared times h, which we know is y. This simplifies down to pi times y squared, not 4, y squared over 4, times y, which just makes this y cubed. So now we have to find the ratios between these two volumes, and so let's move over there for it. So we have the ratio of the cube, the ratio of the cube to the cylinder is the volume of the cube is y cubed to the air volume of the cylinder, which is pi times y cubed over 4. But let's rearrange the terms. Let's say this is y cubed times pi over 4. So we know this can simplify down to 1 to pi over 4. Because we have to because both of the ratios contain, or both of the ratios are products of y cubed. So that means that the answer is 1 to pi over 4. So, and that also means that the volume of the cylinder is pi over 4 times the volume of the cube. So the answer to this problem, once again, is 1 to pi over 4. Today we learned about calculating ratios of volumes. Thank you for watching this video.